the fundamental difference between an S Corp and a C Corp is expected income and subsequent expected profit margin. Uh. In the example I gave, the taxable income for your S Corp would indirectly benefit shareholders who are taxed directly on their 1040. Now, none of this addresses the problem of how you meet your operating costs while maintaining something with more fortitude than an LLC. The S Corp can purchase liability insurance on your behalf, but the downside of liability insurance purchased by an entity meant to be a pass-through for tax purposes is significant. Now, as for the profit and loss column you finally included, look, are you kidding me? What? I can see you. I can see all the things you're doing. I'm sorry, we're trying. We ate power bars before coming. I jumped on a trampoline. We're talking about important financial matters, but as usual, neither of you is taking this seriously. What are you talking about? We got rid of the hat boxes. We bought a binder. A South Park binder. What, numbers can't be fun? You're wasting my time. The, the two of you are children. You say you're trying to run a business, but you don't charge half your students. Her fault. You somehow managed to lose money on your annual fundraiser. Her fault. You think you can close down the studio anytime you have a bad day. Yeah, yeah well, both of us. us. You act as if you have a thriving business and all the money in the world, but you don't. The only thing you have is a not-for-profit dance school and a lot of land that's just sitting out there doing nothing. Well, what do you want it to do? It's land. It's what everything in commerce is based on. Look, if the land isn't valuable, then maybe something on the land is valuable. Like we have gold in them there, Hills? I highly doubt it. Oh, but you say it's possible, so we should pan for gold. Get a donkey and a sluicer. What's a sluicer? I'm not talking about panning for gold. A sluicer, that thing that sluices. I don't know what that is. For gold. In the river, you go in, you get the rocks, and you... That's called a sluicer. Yeah, let's look it up on the internet. No, no, no internet. No sleeping or holding your eyes open or miming killing yourself. Yes, I saw that. We're done. We're sorry. Please, just tell us what to do with our land. I don't care. Anything. You know, I have clients who have stables. They give pony rides. That earns income. You have two farms in your vicinity. That earns income. There's an ostrich farm three miles away, an alpaca farm right down the road. I'm not telling you to get alpacas. I hope not. Doesn't seem safe with that sluicer around. 